Understanding Penny Pinching, a Guide to Thrifty Living. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, to be penny pinching. This expression is not just about money, it's about a lifestyle and mindset. Stick around as we unpack its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. Let's get started. To be penny pinching is an idiom that describes a person who is extremely careful about spending small amounts of money. It's often used to refer to individuals who go to great lengths to save money, sometimes to the point of being overly frugal or stingy. The phrase paints a vivid picture of someone who holds onto their pennies so tightly that they pinch them. It's important to understand that while being cautious with money is generally positive, penny pinching can sometimes carry a negative connotation, implying excessive frugality. The term penny pinching has been part of the English language for quite some time. It originates from the early 20th century or even earlier. The penny refers to the smallest denomination of currency in many countries, symbolizing minimal spending. Pinching here is metaphorical, suggesting that one is squeezing their spending as tightly as possible. Understanding the origins of this phrase helps us appreciate its usage in different contexts, especially in historical or cultural discussions. Now, let's see how you can incorporate penny pinching into your English conversations. Here are a few examples. 1. After losing his job, Mark became very penny pinching, carefully budgeting every expense. 2. You don't have to be penny pinching to save money, just be smart about your spending. 3. The penny pinching manager refused to invest in new equipment, which frustrated the employees. These sentences show the versatility of the phrase, applicable in personal, advice-giving, and professional contexts. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and use of, to be penny-pinching. Understanding such phrases enriches your English vocabulary and helps you express complex ideas more naturally. Remember, being careful with money is wise, but balance is key. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the English language. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.